In this video, we'll work on a word problem which will involve converting multiple units using conversion factors. So here's the problem. A piston is in the shape of a circle whose diameter is 20 centimeters. A force of 30 kilograms is exerted on the piston. What is the resulting pressure, and pressure they're telling us is force divided by area, inside the piston in pounds per square inch? And they give us some more information here. The area of a circle is pi r squared, 0.394 inches in a centimeter, and 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. So there's a lot of information in this problem, so we want to really try to break it down and understand what we're being asked and how we're going to answer it. So the first thing we want to be paying attention to is what's the question? So when we look at a word problem, you always want to focus on the sentence that ends in a question mark, which is this middle sentence right here. So this sentence right here is the one that tells us what the question is. And it says, what is the pressure? And they also tell us that the pressure is force divided by area. So that's how we get started with this problem. They're asking us for pressure, and they tell us that pressure is equal to force divided by area. So if we can figure out the force and we can figure out the area, then we can figure out what the answer to this question is. So the force, they tell us, is 30 kilograms. So we can just put 30 kilograms in for force. And the abbreviation for kilogram is kg. Now area, they tell us, is pi r squared. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work before we can figure out what number to write there. So the area is pi r squared. Now we have to be really careful here because they tell us that the diameter of the circle is 20 centimeters. And if you remember from geometry, when we have a circle, the diameter is two times the radius. The diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. And the radius is just half that. It's the distance from the center out to the edge. Which means that if the diameter is 20, the radius is 10. So this is going to be pi times 10 centimeters squared. Now pi is 3.14159, and 10 squared is 100. Now when we square centimeters, we get square centimeters. So when we multiply that all out, we get 314.159 centimeters squared. So that's the number that goes here on the bottom. Okay, so if we divide that on our calculator, 30 divided by 314.159, what we end up with is 0 0.09549. And the units here would be, if you notice, kilograms divided by centimeters squared. So the units here would be kilograms per square centimeter, which would be great, except that they tell us that they want the answer in pounds per square inch, which means we've got quite a bit of work left to do. But again, take a second to think about what we've done so far. Make sure you understand what we've done up to this point before we get, and now we're gonna move on to converting the units. Okay, remembering where we're at, our answer so far is 0 0.09549 kilograms per square centimeter. And now we need to convert that to pounds per square inch. Now, from the previous slide, I don't have the problem on the screen anymore, but what they told us was that there are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. So 2.2 pounds equals 1 kilogram. And they also tell us that there are 0.394 inches in a centimeter. So 0.394 inches equals 1 centimeter. Okay. So we want to convert these kilograms that we have into pounds. And the kilograms are on the top of our fraction. Kilograms are on the top, square centimeters are on the bottom. So since kilograms are on the top, we want to multiply this by a conversion factor that has kilograms on the bottom, because then these kilograms will divide out with these kilograms, and we won't have kilograms anymore. Now, we want pounds, so if we can find a conversion factor that has pounds on the top and kilograms on the bottom, that's going to be the one we want to use. So since 2.2 pounds equals 1 kilogram, the top of our conversion factor will be 2.2 pounds, and the bottom will be 1 kilogram. So that's going to convert our kilograms to pounds. Okay, what about converting our square centimeters to square inches? Well, we have 0.394 inches equals 1 centimeter. So we can have a conversion factor where we have 0.394 inches 
in, on either the top or the bottom of the fraction, and then one centimeter on the other part of the fraction. But which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom? Hmm. Well, we have centimeters squared on the bottom here, which means if we want to have centimeters divide out, we need to have a conversion factor with centimeters on the top. That way, these centimeters on the bottom will divide out with these centimeters on the top. So we need a conversion factor with centimeters on the top and inches on the bottom. So we have 0.394 inches and 1 centimeter. Now, that's not quite right, though, because we have square centimeters here. So if we have square centimeters, only one of those factors of centimeters is going to divide out with these centimeters. So we've got to square this conversion factor so that what we really have is a conversion factor that tells us how to get from square centimeters to square inches. Okay. So now what we have is 0 0.09549 times 2.2 .2 times 1 divided by 0.394 squared. So that's our number. What are our units? Let's just make sure we did this right. So these kilograms are going to divide out with those kilograms. These two copies of centimeters are going to divide out with those two copies of centimeters. And so what we end up with is pounds and square inches on the bottom. And that's exactly what we wanted, pounds per square inch. And then all we have left to do is to take all these numbers and throw them in our calculator. And when we do that, we end up with 1.353 pounds per square inch.